it face up and leave it face up for the remainder of this trip. You see, now what I need you, my spectator, to do is to pick another card. Now, obviously, you can't do this, so I'm just going to go through and let's say we pick this card here. <laughs> Look at that. The Five of Spades. We're going to take the Five of Spades and we're also going to lose it in the deck. But we're going to put that one in face down. So, somewhere we have the Five of Hearts face up and somewhere the Five of Spades face down. Now, the Five of Hearts is a little bit easier to find, of course. You can see right there. But every time we get this deck and we give it a cut, for example, the Five of Hearts will move position. This time it's somewhere about the middle. But if I cut the deck again, you'll see the Five. This time is... Oh, there, it's somewhere near the middle again. But let's keep cutting it. And you should find every time we cut the deck move somewhere else. We cut it again. This time it's about there. You get the idea. So we'll keep cutting the deck. And as we do this, your card, the five of spades, will also move once again. However, we're going to try and find the five of spades using the help of the five of hearts. And to do so, we're going to take the deck and split it in half. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. There we go. That's enough. Now, once we have done this, we remember the five of hearts is somewhere face up. Well, one at a time, I'm going to count these cards over simultaneously from each pile. And we're going to keep going until we find our face-up five of hearts. Now remember, we cut the cards. It moved position every single time. But if we keep going, you'll see it just so happens to end up in this position. Seems random, but no. It is very magical because it has matched itself up with the five all spades. You still don't believe in magic? Well, maybe this will make you believe not only have we found the five of spades, but we have found the one, two, three, and four aces. Mystery deck. It doesn't have any design. 
it's a very special deck. There's a little surprise in here that I cannot wait to show you, and it's actually going to be a little bit embarrassing, maybe. Well, some of you may think so anyways. So stay tuned to the very last trick to see the little surprise with this deck. But anyways, I hope you all do enjoy tonight. If you do, be sure to drop tonight's video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you do want to see more ASMR card magic. And I think without further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. 
see if we can give them a nice, satisfying... Let's try and get this very relaxing. Oh yeah, look at that. A beautiful shovel. And with this deck, we are going to go through and pick two random cards. And the way we'll do this is we'll just cut the deck and we'll stop in three, two, one, right there. These top two cards are going to be our two cards. Could you please remember for me the Jack of Clubs, which is a frog or a toad, I'm not entirely sure, and the Five of Hearts. We are going to take these two cards and we will lose them in the deck somewhere with more cuts. And here is where the deck is going to do some magical things. We are going to take it and deal it into one, two, three, four piles. Now why four piles, you may ask? Well, in a deck there are four suits, aren't there? We have the clubs, we have the hearts, the spades and the diamonds. Each suit having 13 cards, 13 times 4 making 52, so it would be pretty cool if we could get these to evenly distribute, wouldn't it? But that would just be one cool element to this trick. Let's try and go one step further. Each of the four suits has a color, either red or black. The hearts and diamonds being red, and the clubs and spades being black. Let's try and split them into their two colors. We'll take, let's say, these two packets, and we'll shovel them together. Looks good to me. And we'll do the same to these two packets. A random mix-up. Now, we need to perform the magic. Let me just do that. So, there 
is the opposite of a core card. Well, it's called a spot card because they have spots on them like this. This one's got seven diamond spots. This one's got ten spots that are hearts. And this is why the trick is called spot on. <laughs> a bit of a pun, you see. So you ask them to call out four numbers. Let's say they say, I don't know, three, five, seven, and nine. Odd numbers in this case, I don't know why. So we have a seven. We have a three. We need a five and a nine. There's a nine. And there's a five. Now the reason I ask them to call out numbers is because if I go through the deck and ask them to pick out four numbers, you risk them going near the top and seeing you've got the four kings. So that's why if you ask for four numbers, you can almost always get them within the first half of the bottom of the deck. When you've pulled out these cards, I'm going to arrange them like so. And you want to deal four piles, one pile below each card you've taken out. And you need to make sure when you do this that you go from left to right and then back to the left. Because in doing so, you are going to start by putting the four kings below each card. And once you've done that, the rest of the cards are going to go on top and distribute evenly. So there is 12 cards in each pile. How do I know there's going to be 12? Well, if you think about it, we have 52 cards in a deck. So 
something very special to the end because I have this mystery deck. It's just in a plain box. What's so special and well funny about this deck? Well, firstly, if you have just skipped to the end of the video, shame on you, shame on you. But this deck is a deck that I got as a present. I got this last year as a gift from one of my family members. Because you see, this deck of cards, it may look normal, but wait until I turn them over. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> this deck of cards, the back design, is a little young Dido, a young photo of me. Yes, I did indeed used to have blonde hair when I was younger. And no, don't ask why I am holding a nice lolly or a nice pop, whatever you want to call them, above my head. As if I have just discovered the greatest food in the world. I mean, they are though. Little young Dido in the back garden on a hot summer day. <laughs> it's so funny. I'd like to think you guys think I'm cute and, and not. this is not super embarrassing, right? <laughs> Anyways, I thought very fitting for this trick. I would do something that... Um, is related to me when I was young. And this trick here has a lot of sentiment to me because it is the very first card trick I ever learned. I maybe wasn't as young as this. I think here I'm about four. But when I was about six or seven, I learned my first card trick. And it was this one that I'm going to show you. For this trick, I need four helpful cards. And these four cards are the... where are they? Oh, well, one's on the bottom here. It's the one, two, three, four jacks. Now, these four jacks are going to try a little bit of what I'd like to call a heist. You see, I'm going to take these four jacks and pop them on the top of the deck. <laughs> Every time I see young me, I just want to... <laughs> I just want to laugh. And we are going to play a little bit of a story. You see, these four jacks are going to go into a bank and rob the bank, perform a heist. The first jack, I think it was the jack of spades, goes to the bottom. somewhere near the middle and robs all the cash, not the cash desks, what you call them, the little cash deposit boxes in the bank. The third jack goes somewhere near the top of the bank and takes any loose change hanging about up there. And the final jack, the jack of hearts, sits on top of the bank on the very roof and looks out for any police. So they all go in and do their do's, or do their, in this case, criminal activity. <laughs> and all of a sudden the alarms go off. This triggers the police, and the police are coming. Nee -naw, nee -naw, nee -naw, nee -naw. It's the sort of noise young Dido would make when he saw a police car. And the Jack of Hearts shouted to all the other Jacks, Quick, come to the roof, come to the roof, where their jet was waiting to take off for them their helicopter, I think it is, in the real story. And just like that, the Jack of Arts successfully called to the spades, diamonds, and clubs. And they successfully got away with millions. And that is the story of how the four Jacks robbed the bank. Well, everybody, that is going to be it.
version of me. I don't think I've ever shown something like that before. <laughs> but if you guys did enjoy tonight's video, be sure to drop a little thumbs up down below. It really means so, so much to me. And as I did say, if you guys want to see more ASMR card magic videos, be sure to check out the video I posted on my other ASMR channel. Linked in the description. But other than that, I want to thank you all so much for watching tonight's video. I hope you all sleep well, and good night everybody.